So in today's video, we'll just have a simple tutorial, how to connect your Shopify account to your Meta Business Suite on Facebook or Instagram or Meta. So the first thing that you gotta know is that you can't use this one if you don't start your free trial on Shopify. So you gotta create yourself an account and you gotta start your free trial. And there's an easy way to do this. Just go over to the main website of Shopify and click on start free trial. Here, you'll just have to go with this onboarding process. I'm not gonna go over it in order to just not to prolong this video. You'll have to jump through some hoops, which Shopify has for us. Then you gotta connect all of your data, your payment option, whatever, and then you will land inside of your store. I'll just create a new one because mine is already connected to Meta. And of course, once you open this up, you should open up your Meta business account. So log in inside of your own account. This is my coffee shop. And of course, the first step is going over to Shopify. So just have these both opened and then from this it's very easy to navigate as you can see here you've got apps and sales channels click on apps and sales channels and here if you just started out you will not have you will just have like two of these right you'll have point of sale and you will have online store these are the only two apps that are pre-installed once you make yourself a brand new account so we got to add whatever we want to and in order to do that there is a button here called Shopify App Store. So just click on that and you will be redirected here. Now, you probably know there's a lot of things that you can connect your Shopify store with and this screen shows it. You know, there's a lot of apps, a lot of simple things that can help you. But of course, this tutorial is gonna revolve around Meta. So all you gotta do, if you don't see it on the screen, just click here and search for Meta, all right? Just type in Meta, and down there, you can see Facebook and Instagram, or you can just click on Meta, and it'll show up. Now, don't get this confused with, like, Instagram pixels, with Meta pixels and conversion API. Then there's, like, FB Track Facebook pixels app. You have to install this one, all right? This one that has the lowest rating, right? So, yeah, that's the way it is. But you can see that a lot of people have downloaded it. But yeah, it has low rating. So Facebook and Instagram, it is free, of course, to install. Click on it and then you will land here. All you got to do is to click on the install button here. It is automatically going to open up your Shopify store once again. And from here, you just have to do a bit of a setup. So this app needs access to personal data. Right here, you can see what they get. And down there, view and edit store data, right? They need to do this. If you don't agree to some parts of this, well, the app is not for you. Now, just click on the install button. And now, as you can see, you've got your app here on the left. I'll just go and pin this to my navigation here. So it's here. And yeah, this will work with Instagram and Facebook as well. So you don't have to do it twice. Meta is Facebook plus Instagram. So increase your sales with personalized ads, drive more sales, blah, blah, blah. You know what it does. What do you have to do now? Click on get started here. And then we have to connect our account by clicking on this button. So this is the first step. Click on connect account. Then you will just have to confirm your Facebook account and you've got it open right from before. So just go back and confirm. You don't have to log in again. Allow Facebook to share business assets with Shopify. Click on allow and it's done. Now these two are connected, but it isn't over yet because you have to deal with the business portfolio. If you have a catalog for your products, you can just create new right here. But this is something that anyone can do, right? It's not complicated. Click on create new and add your catalog and all of that. But what do you have to do is you have to deal with this data sharing preference. Now, there are three options. There's conservative, which doesn't share a lot of your information. There's enhanced and there's maximum. I don't suggest using maximum. Even though they say like get the best possible results, this setting is continually updated with Facebook latest advertising technology and shares the most data with Facebook. I still do not recommend this, especially if you're just starting out. I recommend this one. Enhanced is totally enough, more than enough. So customer activity data is shared using the Metapixel, advanced matching, 
and Conversions API. Customers can disconnect this data from their Facebook account by changing their settings for off Facebook activity. So I'll just use this. Click on Save button here and I'll always create a new Metapixel from here. As you can see, sometimes you will, I don't know what you did before, but maybe you have more of these pixels available for you. But still, if you got a new store and you want to connect it for the first time with your Facebook account, always go and create a new Metapixel. Click on Create a New. We will just go over the settings a bit later through Facebook as well. And then just click on Confirm button. Agree to these terms and conditions. And now just click on Submit for Review. But on your Facebook page, you should go over to All Tools. And then under this Advertise section, there is something called Events Manager. Click on Events Manager. And this needs to be done in order to connect your data with that pixel that we've just created. You don't need this. Click on Close. And as you can see, Connect Your Data. Events Manager. Click on Connect Data. Then click on the app right here and click on Connect. And then you need to do these three things. Create an app ID using your developer account. Install the latest version of the Facebook app SDK on your app and assign an ad account. So in order to do this, just click on Get Started. Click on Build Your Own Event here and then use the same name as you did on Shopify. Of course, firstly, you will have to go through the review process. So once you click on Submit for Review, as you can see, this may take several minutes. And then afterwards, after the submission review process, your pixel is going to appear here on the data sources. So events manager, it's going to appear here on data sources. And from there, you just have to select it. So after this is done, as you can see overview, this has now passed the review, it's done. And when you go over to settings, you can see the ID of your pixel. This is the pixel with which the behavior will be tracked. All right. So now you go back to the events manager and you click on yourself here on your name. And then there's going to be business portfolios. Shopify, this is the one, click on it. And then from here, just do whatever they recommend you to. So these are the recommended tasks that you should do. Based on your current setup, we recommend these actions for improved results. And all of it will be tracked inside of here. As you can see, once customer activity data is available, such as page views or purchases, it'll appear on this page right here. So you will have all of that tracked here in the events manager when you select this one. Of course, be sure to change the names if you have more than one store on Shopify because it's going to be easier for you to just keep track of everything, right? Just make separate names, make them connect them to like, yeah, the names of your stores. And also set up these conversions APYs, click on get started. You can watch the video for this one. It's not that hard. They will just hold your hand through this one. And there you have it. You have your Facebook or Instagram account connected to your Shopify store. And now you can track everything, you can run the ads, and of course, get more reach for your products. So wish you good luck and I'll catch you in the next one.